Hi everyone. Today we're going to go back into the easel program and look at the keyhole generator. What that does is actually put the keyhole into your project to be able to secure it to the wall and have the project sitting flat against the wall. Unlike the sawtooth method where yeah the nail will hook on but the project is away from the wall. Not nearly as professional, especially since you own an X-Carve or a CNC machine. Now I want to show you some tips and tricks along the way that's going to make this a lot easier. So let's go ahead and get started. To be able to cut the keyhole slot, you need a keyhole bit. This one is a very inexpensive bit that I've had for a long time, but it does work quite well. The first thing that we're going to need to know is the depth of cut that we need to make. So we're going to use the calipers and measure this. So from the very bottom up to just below the top is where I want to go. So about 0.31 0.30, anywhere in that area would work quite well. If you go too deep, you're going to get into the point where it's going to be burning into the wood. Too shallow, and you're not going to have enough material to be able to hold your screw and hold your project onto the wall. So this is a very good way to be able to do it. Get out the calipers. Let's measure it, and you'll be ready to go. <clears throat> After a little bit of experimentation, I settled on 0.27 for the depth of cut. To properly set this up, you really want to use a bump stop, because when you're cutting the keyhole into the wood, it's actually putting a lot of pressure in that direction. These hold downs may or may not hold tight enough. So by putting in the two screws, putting in the bump stop, that provides a lot of security against that pressure that you're going to have against the, um, against the wood. In addition to that, yes, I'm going to go ahead and put in my hold down clamps over here to keep it secure. And this is really all you need. The most important thing, put the bump stop in so that when the bit goes down and starts pushing in this direction, you're going to have something secure to keep the material from moving. We're going to select two. We're going to keep it horizontal. We're still going to put in the .27. And one of the other things, and I'll point this out now, I actually like to have the length of the cut at 0.75. That works well. And this is the spacing between the two cuts. So I'm going to go ahead and put that at, let's just say, 4 inches. And then I'll import that. So there I have my keyholes. Now to be able to cut that, same thing is going to apply. I'm going to highlight both of them and I'm going to come up to the position and I'm going to select the center. And this time I'm still going to do zero and zero and it positions it now right down here. That is the center of the material. What's nice about this is you can take your project measure exactly where the center is, put that point right here at your machine XY0, and it will carve this exactly where you want it.
gotta say that looks awesome. I am really, really excited about this keyhole generator app in Easel. And the first thing I wanna say is you do not need to have any project showing. If you put in the dimensions of your actual project, and let's just assume for a moment that it is a 12 by eight inch project, that's all you need. You can actually go up, click on the apps, and select the keyhole generator. And now, and you can make it work. I'm not going to change anything at this point. I'm just going to import it. And what it does, it puts the keyhole right into the center. Now with this placed directly into the center, you can highlight this and then move it anywhere you want. So if your material dimensions and the size of your project is exactly the same, you can take and slide it up here for an example and have it positioned exactly where you want it. So you can do anything you want as your normal project would be where you can take and move this around. So I'm just gonna leave it for right there because when you put the keyhole in, you want it in the upper third of your project. You don't really want it down at the center. The next thing that I want to show you, let's say you have your project inside of your material dimensions and you want to add in the um, keyhole. So we go up here, we select that, and we select the generator. And I'm still just going to use this, but I am going to change the depth to the 0.27 and we're going to import that. So that's what it looks like. Now here's the important thing. When you go to do a detailed preview on this, what is it going to look like? Let's simulate that and all of a sudden it's going to try to cut that project and cut your keyhole slot with the wrong bit. It's going to be doing that with the actual keyhole uh, bit, and that's not what you want. So if you have your project shown, it's imperative that you set that to a zero depth so that when you get ready to simulate and do a detailed preview and simulate that, it only gives you the one cut. So that's the second most important tip. Now the next most important thing is you see this slot. If I hit simulate, you can see where it goes down and cuts one slot into your material. Now, this is what I want to show you. If we go back to the cut settings and we have our normal setting in, just let's say it is 0 0.02, when we hit simulate, you can see a lot of different cuts. Now I'm gonna hide the material and you can see the layers that it's cutting down. What will that create? It will create one big slot like this and it will not create your keyhole. That is why it's so important to be able to measure with the calipers the depth of cut that you want to have and be able to put that in. And I said that I wanted to, on the bit that I have, at 0.27 of an inch, work the best. That is key. The last thing I want to show you is to be able to use the vertical feature. So we'll highlight the app. I'm still going to put in 2 because that is the biggest advantage of this. We're going to select the vertical. We're going to select a 0.27. I'm going to put the length of cut this time. I'm going to leave as one inch. This can be anything that you want, depending on the size of the project. Now let's import that. Now then, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to highlight this, and I'm going to bring this over keeping this in the center, bring that to the zero, 
and the zero position. Now I know exactly where it's going to be and when I place my project in here then I know exactly how it's going to cut because that is going to be my XY zero. I really like the keyhole generator app that Easel has provided. I think it's very user friendly it's very easy to be able to use and adapt to the different projects and I like the, the control of the depth of cut and the fact that you can have one or two keyhole slots. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you for watching the day.